White River Junction, Vermont is home to the Main Street Museum, an odd name for a place with so many off-kilter exhibits and curated by a man with a truly subversive mind. Dave? Dave Ford? Hello there. How are you? This is the Main Street Museum. The mission of this museum is to be a cabinet of curiosities, or a wonder cabinet. It's like a meta-museum, so we have things from around the world. You seem like a curious fellow yourself. I consider myself one of the objects, one of the artifacts in the museum, yes. Well, here we are. We're in the town's old fire station, actually. This is the fire station that was built in 1893. That's the door where they came in. This is curious, this animal up here. That's the rare uh, killer flying jackalope. It's extremely dangerous, and we're lucky to have a, one of this rare specimen. They're only attracted to beer, and that's how you can trap them. That's the rare uh, killer crocheted liquor bottle cozy collection that's appeared in a, a national magazine. You don't see that in many museums. No, we collect things that other museums don't collect. The skin of a boa constrictor from Costa Rica. You're an international museum. We are definitely an international museum. Do you collect most of this stuff or do you get it submitted? Uh, it's submitted a lot of it. Uh, people bring me things they don't want to throw out. This is a vaguely disturbing painting of, a, of a, somebody getting a transfusion. Poor guy. See, he's on pins and needles and he's being bled dry and his nose is to the grindstone. So we think this painting is a great metaphor. I think it would be misogyny and also uh, homoerotic and also maybe animals are getting in there too. I don't know. This, it's disturbing. There's a lot going on. <laughs> it's a uh, beeswax telephone and uh, it needs some restoration work. Clearly. Uh, there are a lot of things actually in the museum that uh, the spouse or the partner of the person who collected them uh, said, it's either me or that, it's got to go. So it could be the Main Street Museum or the Museum of Rejects, really. <laughs> I don't think sharks have eyes like that. Better to have an eye on it, though, than an empty socket. That's kind of creepy. We I actually don't want creepy things in the museum. And that whole case is all about the head, the human head. No museum should be without a case d devoted to round things. We also have Elvis's toenails. They were apparently collected at the Sands Casino by a chambermaid. That is a milking machine. And the whole full story of the milking machine is that I think generations of Vermont farm boys use this not for milking, but for also their own budding adolescence uh, and their own budding hormones. So we want to tell that story as well, but I've yet to figure out a way how I can do that tastefully in a museum label. Speaking of uh, teenage sexuality, you have a lot of condoms on display. That's a, just a public health service. There's a fish here that's quite remarkable. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's got hair on it. That is the furred fish. The furred fish uh, appears in northern climates because the water is so cold that fish needs to stay warm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call you on that one. Dave, if somebody wants to pay a visit to the Main Street Museum, where should they go? They should go to downtown White River Junction. We are a curious museum in a curious town.